Something looks weird. I'm always moving too fast, the feeling don't last. I feel like you take me for granted. Probably my fault for the way that I handle it. I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Hey guys, my name is Alondra. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, just scroll down a little bit. There's a red button that says subscribe. Click it. Everyone else, click that like button and the notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. Little backstory. I have been staying up until like 3 a.m. every night. Ask me why, I don't know. My sleeping schedule has been very messed up lately. I don't care. And all I've been doing is watching TikToks. Go follow me on TikTok. The video that pops up the most is questions for the girls. So I kind of wanted to film myself reacting to the questions. And I think it's going to be kind of funny and entertaining. Fingers crossed. Hopefully this doesn't make you unsubscribe. That's basically the gist of this video, so make sure to like, comment, share with your friends, and subscribe down below, and let's get on with the video. Okay, I got my mom's phone right here because clearly I'm recording on my phone, so... Oopsie, I pressed something that I wasn't supposed to press. Oh, okay, let's just... Okay. I logged into my personal TikTok that I don't share with anyone. This was my Musical.ly account before hey, there's just too many embarrassing things right here oh my gosh okay let's start with the first video this is questions for females part two if you don't feel comfortable answering a question simply don't answer it cool cool all right cool what's your name alondra where are you from riverside marina valley to be exact do you like for a guy to make the first move yeah obviously have you ever cheated no mm -mm. questions for girls one if a guy is close with his mother do you guys find that attractive I got this one. This one is my question. When they're mean to everyone but you, they have to have a soft spot for you. Number three, do you like when a guy is overprotective? No. You can be protective, just don't be overprotective. Sorry, that was weird. I'm a girl. Not earrings or nose rings. Well, I like necklaces and rings. I actually like wearing our hoodies or... Yeah. I thought that was obvious. Does size matter? Is it... We're gonna skip that question. More attractive when we're tall. Okay, how do I want to phrase this? Typically, girls go for guys that are taller than the girl because you feel more protected or something. I don't know. I literally stopped this video at the worst moment because my face looks so ugly here. But just want to let you guys know that you're not going to see the TikToks anymore because that takes too much effort to put them on the screen. And my two brain cells that I have left over cannot handle it. So, sorry. Does the way we dress matter? I think girls have types in like how a guy dresses. So I would say yes. Does a girl like it when a guy snaps first? Yes. Come whenever it's just me and you, and you act all cool and chill. But whenever you with your friend, you ignore me and act like you don't know who I am at all. That should be a good thing. If a girl can act more herself around you than everyone else, that just means she doesn't really trust everyone else and she trusts you with her personality, which is probably really weird and that's why she's hiding it. For looks or personality first? I do personality. Because you can literally look like Noah Centineo oh. himself, but you can have a terrible personality and attitude, and you can't really change that. So, do girls like when guys text back fast, or does it seem like clingy? It's cute. Not like any guy texts me, anyways, but it's cute. Do girls like guys that are decisive? Okay, here's the thing you know, us girls are really indecisive. We need the guy to be decisive, but let us try and pick an answer first. Let us think about it a little bit, and when we give the, the I don't know what I want to eat answer then you decide so you have to be decisive hit other and then hit cancel for more videos i don't want to so you guys prefer when a rick has hard to get and doesn't snap you as much or would you rather a guy be like easier and like talk to you a lot more no. that so, one like, when they show an interest because we don't want to be worrying about like oh does this guy like me or not you know you just want to just want to know okay i'm hungry okay <laughs> Thumbnail. Haha. <laughs> I'm eating Tokyo Locos. Doritos Nacho preparados. I know this one. Home. Would you rather date an athlete or would you rather date a gang member? An athlete. Yeah. 
exactly. Would you rather have a controlling man or a man that lets you do whatever you want to do? What what kind of question is that? Obviously not controlling. You guys never sit back and be like, damn, maybe I am the problem. Oh, yeah. Would you rather you both be cool with your friends or like not talk to your friends at all? Both. You gotta be cool, but don't talk to them. That's that was a joke. Favorite quality about a dude? When they have goals. Favorite quality about yourself? I can be funny when I want to. Do you really believe in it? It's meant to be let him go and see what happens. Or not? Yeah. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. You gotta get to know someone before you love them. There can be a connection, but you can't fall in love. Do you believe in fate? That the moment you guys met was meant to be? Mm-hmm. Do you put yourself first in relationships with the other person? The other person. Why you, is your biggest turn on? When they have goals, didn't I already say that? What is your biggest turn on? Mm, when they act too cool around you. Let's go. Is it, is okay. it true that girls go for older guys? Is it hard? Yeah. Well, me personally, I don't think I can date a younger guy. So yes. I guess. Not that much older though. Is it annoying when guys play hard to get or is it a turn? <gasps> that is so annoying. Really annoying, actually. Is it true you love sleeping on her chest? What about the hugs from behind? Do you girls? I wouldn't know of either, so I'm sure they love it. Do girls dub on purpose to make guys like double snap? Wait, what? <laughs> Do girls what? <laughs> Do girls dub on purpose to make guys dub. like. I don't know what he's talking about, so I'm just gonna skip that. Because, like, I don't know. Well, we could just be scared or, like, we probably think that they don't like us back and we don't want to, like, put ourselves out there. That's a very vulnerable position. Or we can just be waiting for him to do it first if he likes us back. But that never happens, so. Why is it that girls think that every guy is host? Okay, because we probably know you do. We probably like you and we know just like we like you, all the other girls like you or can like you. So we know you do. What's the most attractive features on a guy? I think this one's talking about physical things. So, a nice smile. Um, you gotta look kind of tough. Um, if I say like good night to you like this, and you send good night to me like this, what does that mean? That we don't want to stop talking to you, or we're mad. If uh, you leave us like on red or open or delivered for like a while, what does that mean? Like, does that mean you're not interested? It could mean that. It could also mean that we want you to double text us. Are confident guys more attractive? Yeah, but not overconfident. Play right? sport, would you wear my jersey to like a game? Yes! Okay, wanting your, ho Shut up. wanting your hoodies is right here, but wanting your jersey is like right here. Uh, if we have a planned date, should I pick you up or should you come pick me up? Whoever has more gas in their car really doesn't matter. How far into a relationship should you kiss somebody? Whenever the time is right. I feel like Oprah answering these questions. It's hard work, like my back is hurting. This and type out your answers so I can see them. No, we're Question doing, one. Um, we're filming a YouTube video, hun. What is the, what is your ideal first date? <gasps> Easy. You need a pretty view, you need pizza, and you need some like good music. talking about you we're gossiping take a billion photos when they do a photo shoot and then only choose one okay because when you stare at a picture for too long it gets ugly so you need to have a lot of options so you know you're choosing the best one i actually want to be kissed in the rain what about kisses on the forehead do you guys yeah. like being tickled do you like i love being tickled i haven't been tickled since i was like seven but i love being tickled <laughs> do you like picking out our outfits yeah do you yeah that's a good one. Yes. Yes, we do. What if we show you off? Well, yeah, but not if we ask you to do it. Do you like when we embarrass ourselves just to make you laugh or smile? Yeah, that's cute. You and me have a picture of you on our dash. Don't forget that's to cute. follow- I would go insane. If my future boyfriend doesn't put a picture of me on his dash, we're breaking up. Will you think we're a bum if we make you pay? No. 
no. How much does the type of car that he drives matter? Not a lot. You know, if it's cool, then cool, it's cool. But like, if it's not, then okay. Let's call you pretty and cute, or just call you hot. Mm -mm. Don't say hot. I think I already know the answer to this question. So why do you ask? Do pickup lines actually work? I don't know. To be honest, they're kind of creepy. Anyone else? Have a private story just for the boy they're talking to? Like, no one else met just him. So that way you can post TikToks or your TikToks or, like, cute relationship stuff that you want. And only he can see it, but he thinks other people can see it. So it's not really about him, but it is because he's the only one who's there. So not Am I the only one who hasn't done that? Like, he'd get annoyed of me if I did. I mean, I'm not admitting to liking anyone, but if I did, I feel like he'd get annoyed of me. We don't sip. How can you have one guy who's super, super nice and will do anything for you, and you got the douchebag who doesn't care about you, like, calls you all these mean names, and you pick him? Yeah, I got nothing for that one. And then when y'all break up five months later, you'll be like, oh man, he was trash, like, he was, a, he was an F boy, like, you'll be like, boys ain't shit. No, I warned you about him. You didn't listen. Oh, this is the last one. I feel like that. So you got two guys that you like. I don't like two guys. If I like a guy, I only like him. Period. How are you gonna drag us along and play us like we're just a game? We like don't. I, don't. I got a question for me. How come whenever it's just if a dude is ugly and he can dress, is he cute? No. Yeah. No. No. I when we're on FaceTime, can't we have peace to play the game with our boys? Just don't FaceTime us if you're gonna play games with the boys. We'll understand if you're gonna play a game and then FaceTime me after, like. It's not that hard. Does it matter who we been with before before we start dating? No. What? No. That's cool. Cool. Alright, let's oh. get started. How's your day going? Good. Okay. Fine. Can you cook? Sometimes I can cook some things. I'm not a chef, but... Do you want to get married? Yes, but not now. Eventually, of course. Do you want kids? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Or, I mean, they could be human, too. Are you in love with anybody in your life presently? Yeah, myself. All right. Well, I think that's the end of this video. So, hopefully, you guys really enjoyed this video. You got some insight into a girl's brain. Girls, if you don't agree with me, comment it down below. Let me know where I went wrong. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to always keep pushing forward and keep smiling, everyone.